Hello everyone, I'm Zhu Baolin from Ghent University. In this talk, I'm going to present my recent work on UV photonic integrated circuits and its application for far field light shaping. Why is it uh, interesting? We expect uh, it can open routes for many applications, for instance, ion control. Using the beams, a coupled from uh, integrated waveguides uh, can offer a uh, much lower noise, for instance, a vibration noise, compared with the beam coming from a uh, free space. And this concept uh, has been demonstrated uh, at the uh, visible wavelengths and the infrared wavelengths to control the uh, storm team ion. And there are other better ions uh, which need uh, shorter wavelengths to excite. For instance, a turbine ion needs to be excited at a UV wavelength of 369 nanometer, and most of other ions need uh, even shorter wavelengths. The another idea is application on LiDAR. You know, the integrated photonic uh, chip has been investigated for beam steering at uh, infrared wavelengths and then uh, recently extended to the visible wavelengths but limited by the silicon nitride waveguide platform it cannot go even shorter wavelengths so in this case uh, we need to develop a new waveguide platform to operate at a shorter wavelength in the UV range so now uh, let's see the current state of a UV peak uh, there are two waveguide platforms which have been investigated at uh, UV wavelengths. The first one is AOD, aluminum oxide, on top of uh, silicon dioxide, with the lowest propagation loss of a 3 dB per centimeter at a working wavelength of a 371 nanometer. It remains single mode propagation with uh, ox oxide as a top grading. The another one is aluminum nitride on sapphire with a slightly higher propagation loss of 8 dB per centimeter, but it is uh, currently multi-mode. Besides, uh, there are other potential platforms based on uh, high bank up materials, but they are currently investigated at uh, visible wavelengths or infrared wavelengths. Why it is so difficult uh, to process uh, or to develop a uh, UV peak and uh, shaping light at UV wavelengths? For one thing, we need to process a low loss and a single mode of integrated waveguide. You know, most of the waveguide layer, so, uh, for instance, the silicon nitride in the silicon shows strong absorption at UV wavelengths and the scattering loss will be stronger at a shorter wavelengths since the Rayleigh scattering is inversely in proportional to lambda 4. For the another, we need to properly design the uh, high performance gratings to uh, generate either a homogeneous bin over large field width or we can, we can target a bin with a strong focusing and a high optical density in both the cases, uh, the high coupling efficiency are desired to minimize the insertion loss of the gradient. All right, in this talk, I'm going to present our work on low loss aluminum oxide waveguide operating at a UV wavelength and the gradient design and the characterization. Finally, uh, we will design a simple photonic chip and to to combine the grading devices and uh, generate far field structure elimination. To process the waveguide uh, and operate uh, at the UV wavelengths, we firstly groom a layer of aluminum oxide by uh, atomic layer deposition, and the layer is patterned by the E-beam lithography to finally get a strip waveguide with uh, air top lighting on top of uh, silicon dioxide. On the right, we can see the UV light with a wavelength of 360 nanometer. It's coupled into the spiral waveguide and it can propagate uh, through a uh, long distance with a total length of 2.3 centimeter. And we ex extract uh, the intensity from the scattered light uh, 
from the spiral waveguide and then we do the linear fitting between the log intensity and the waveguide length to estimate the propagation loss for the waveguide. On the right, we can see the relationship between the propagation loss and the waveguide width. After optimization, we can get a uh, uh, low loss of uh, 3 dB per centimeter, and it remains a single mode uh, propagation at a uh, waveguide width of uh, 800 nanometer. After achieving uh, such a nice waveguide, uh, we start to design uh, the gradient in 2D simulation. To avoid any uh, scattering loss uh, at the input of alumina oxide, we apply the shallow edge either with a 10 nanometer or 30 nanometer edge depth and with a total height of 110 nanometer. We should note that the refractive index of a silicon at this wavelength is quite large, uh, with a value of 6.1. So the light scattered into the substrate will partially reflect into the free space at the interface of uh, silicon dioxide and the silicon. Therefore, we can get a very high uh, coupling efficiency up to 73% at edge uh, uh, depth of 30 nanometer with a slightly shallower edge depth of 10 nanometer we can still get uh, coupling efficiency up to 42%. In the next slide, uh, we firstly uh, characterize the beam profile that scattered out from the grating with a uh, edge depth of 10 nanometer. In the 2D simulation, we achieve a relatively large field of width of 170 micrometer at a horizontal distance of 1.25 millimeter. In the graph, we can see the beam width remains uh, the same, more or less the same level of a long distance of a three millimeter. So actually, we get uh, what we want: a, la a beam with large field of width and the low divergence. So we fabricate the grating using the same parameter in simulation, and we can see uh, in this slide and the experiment results matches well with the uh, simulation readout. We monitor the beam profile at the plane of uh, grating and also at the far field with a distance of 1.25 mm to compare. On, in the middle we can see uh, the, the beam profile uh, image captured by the optical microscope and we achieve a large field of width of 200 micrometer by 150 micrometer. And in the experiment, uh, we achieve uh, the maximum power uh, up to 0.4 milliwatt. And uh, we, as we discussed above, uh, we can achieve uh, even higher uh, coupling efficiency with a slightly deeper edge depth of 30 nanometer. Um, experiment in in experiment uh, we actually did it and um, achieve a uh, outcoupled power up to one milliwatt with edge depth of thirty nanometer. And the beam width is uh, slightly narrower. Then uh, we we get a stronger focusing. Huh? The beam width is estimated to be thirty two micrometer at a distance of uh, one point twenty five millimeter. So. With a deeper edge, we get a stronger coupling efficiency and also a narrower beam width. Okay, after optimization of a, a creating device, we design the simple photonic circuits to combine the two creating devices. As shown on the left, uh, uh, where the light will couple into the waveguide and split into two branches via a uh, multi-mode uh, interferometer and uh, scattered into the free space. At the position where two beams come across, we can see a two beam interference fringe pattern. And the phase of the fringe pattern can be controlled by the on-chip thermal heater. Then uh, similarly, we uh, 
use the 2D simulation to firstly investigate uh, the, the fringe pattern. In the graph, uh, we can see a nice interference fringe pattern in both cases, either with a scattered angle of uh, 11.7 and a sc scattered angle of uh, 29.3 degree. Despite there is some intensity oscillation in the beam profile, we still get a very high visibility up to 0.97 and also uh, uh, 90, 90, 0.99 for the second case. So we fabricate the, the circles and successfully measure the fringe pattern. With a scattered angle of uh, 29 degree, we get uh, a nano fringe spacing of 371 nanometer. And on the right, we can see is uh, the the cross section of a fringe pattern. In experiment, the visibility uh, is up to 0.93 over a field width of a 12 micrometer by 10 micrometer. Okay, then I would like to conclude my presentation uh, with a brief summary. In this talk, I present a low loss of a 3 dB per centimeter achieved on aluminum oxide waveguide to operate uh, at a wavelength of 360 nanometer. And we achieve a high performance grating where, which can provide a beam with a large field of width of 200 micrometer by 150 micrometer. And then we design a photonic circuits uh, operate uh, at a UV wavelength to achieve a uh, far field structure elimination with a very high visibility up to 0.93 and a small fringe spacing of uh, 371 nanometer. Yep, that's all. Thank you for your attention. And uh, any questions?